So if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I turn different things into houses in Bloxburg. And just yesterday, Bloxburg released this new kids bunk bed. And already a ton of you guys have been asking me to attempt to turn this into a house. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. Turning this tiny kids bunk bed into an actual livable house. Well, trying to. Okay, so if we go into the new category, it's called the Royal Kid Castle Bunk Bed. A royal castle bunk bed for an extra royal child who needs an entire castle to sleep in. That sounds like my type of bed. Okay, this bed is $1,350. You know what, for a bunk bed like this, that's actually not that bad. You know what, it's pretty spacious. I think we've definitely worked with smaller spaces before. All right, what do we need in the house? We need a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and living room. Just the basics. So downstairs, I'll probably make this into a kitchen. And then back here, oh, we've got a tiny little compartment here. Maybe we can do a bathroom. I'm actually not sure. And um, what about upstairs? Okay, well, this is where the bed is. So obviously, oh, you are too old to do this. Well, that's rude. That's your bubblegum dum dum look. See, there, I'm a kid. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> Now leave me alone. Can I sleep in this bed? Oh, okay. We might leave this upstairs area as the bedroom. You know, I think we could also add a TV up here. Make this the living room as well. You know what? We'll see. We'll see, we'll see where it goes. All right, so I'm going to name this plot. How long does it take Alaska Violet to build a castle in Bloxburg? A fortnight. Oh, shut up. Do you see me laughing? All right, so now it's time to turn this thing into a house. All right, for the style of the house, considering it is a castle, I think it's only fitting that we do like a medieval castle house. Like this? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, wait. That actually looks sick. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I was a child again and I was gifted this as my bed, I don't think I would ever leave. Actually, scratch that. I want that bed now. I don't care if I'm not a child anymore. I want it. I need it. No. So how big are we going to make this house without kind of cheating? Because obviously when I'm doing these challenges, I can't make the house bigger than whatever the item is. So maybe like this. Okay, I do. I don't remember placing the floor like that. Okay, so we have some nice detailed floors. I say detailed floors. I literally mean like five layers. Okay, looking very scrumptious. Now we need the walls. I don't think I can actually just place a wall here though because that's too big. Oh no, wait, you know, mm, mm, no, it doesn't work, damn. Well, you know what they say, if you can't add walls, add basic shapes. Every single time I do a challenge like this, I'm just like, I don't know if I can finish this, but somehow I always do. So you know what, I'm gonna have faith in myself. Wait, I just thought of the most genius idea. Now, first off, that's scaring me. So you get over there. This bit back here, right? I was gonna make this a window, but hear me out instead of a window what if we make it like what if we make this a breakfast nook so you can eat breakfast on top of it like a dining table darling like a dining table i didn't even realize blocksburg came out with an update until i went on tiktok and everyone was posting about it i don't actually go on tiktok that much tiktok kind of scares me but i hate it here i want to go home the weirdest thing happened when I went on TikTok. There's like this one person on TikTok that's impersonating to be my brother. And the whole account is dedicated to like being related to me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And all the comments believe him as well. Guys, I'm an only child. I do not have any siblings. <laughs> I never thought the day would come where there would be someone impersonating to be related to me. I don't know how I feel about that. That's suspicious. That's weird. Also, these walls aren't warring. That wasn't a word. Why do I try to make words happen? I don't know how to make this a window. You know what? Castles don't really have, like, much windows. <gasps> Why can't I place this down anywhere? Um, hello? It's because your advanced placement is off, you dumb dumb. Okay, I think I'm going to extend this wall all around here like this. So then this way, darling, we have a tiny little footpath that leads into the bathroom. I don't know why I'm talking in this accent, but because I'm doing a castle, I feel like it's only essential. They're a tiny, tiny little Brandy Melville entrance. And to fill this ugly, disgusting gap, we would need a pillar. <gasps> what is she doing? She's just walking. <laughs> Okay, up here, I think we can fit another tiny balcony. Now, typically, if I was just going to add a regular balcony, I would put this farm fence, but can't really add a farm fence up here. So I'm kind of a genius. You know what I'm going to do? He's ready for this. Vintage candles, right? I'm like, Alaska, what are you going to do with vintage candles? I will show you. Are they sectioned out properly? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. And then I go into small square beams, add a little square beam up here. And boom, shakalaka, we've got our own fence. Wait, I just realized there's already a fence here. So I didn't even need to add. Are you kidding? 
kidding me? Okay, whatever. You're joking. You're joking. Now, before I start decorating, I want to do the outside of the castle first. Because every single castle is always surrounded by, like, big fancy trees. Do you guys remember when I turned the bouncy house into a house? I kind of want to do something like that, but it's, like, along the river. Oh, and you know what? We're also going to have, like, a mountain surrounding this as well. Wow, guys, I'm such a good builder. All I do is click. Like, <laughs> just click buttons. <laughs> Also, it's super easy to make a mountain like this. All you use is a hollow mansard roof, go into the basement, and then outline your mountain. And then bada bim bada boom, you've got yourselves a nice little mountain. Oh, and you thought I was done? No, we're gonna make this entire thing one big pool. However, we do need a bridge because, well, how are we gonna get to our castle? The bridge to Telepathia. What's that movie called? The bridge to Terabifa. Terabifia? Oh my gosh, did you guys ever watch this movie? The bridge to Terabifia? You are done. No, because that was actually a sad movie. I cried. I can't watch sad movies. I hate them. Like, what kind of psychopath just unironically watches sad movies all the time? <laughs> I was just thinking about this the other day. Can you imagine me in, like, the Victorian area? You know what would take me out? The common flu. I don't think I could survive a day. <laughs> I'm scared to death. I'm frightened, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused, and I want to go home. We're also going to add some lilies on the pond here. Okay, now, you know how, like, in Shrek, they have the singing frogs? I was saying to you guys how cool it would be if Bloxburg added frogs, and I was reading your comments, and apparently they have frogs. <laughs> Oh, you guys already know I'm going to recreate that scene from Shrek. People who haven't watched Shrek are probably so confused. If you haven't watched Shrek, how about you stop watching this video and go watch Shrek? Why does it look like someone just farted on my pond? Like, no. Right, there is our little pond moment. I'm also just going to add some more greenery to the outside to make it look more realistic. Now, like with any good old-fashioned castle, we need some good old-fashioned water fountains. And you know what? I feel like we need a guard at the front of our castle. So using a transparent cube and a decal on top, we then have our own Alaska Violet security. <laughs> Alright, so now to actually add furniture in this thing. I think the first thing we're going to start off is this little section out the front. This would be perfect to add all of our decor. I'm also going to extend the floor by two more blocks. This way we have a little bit more room to work with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is the kitchen. So instead of a regular fridge, clearly we do not have room for that. Underneath this tiny little section, I'm going to add the mini fridge, which actually fits perfectly. Surprise, surprise. Who would have thought? Not me. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. The annoying thing about doing this is you literally cannot see anything. Like this, this is the best view we're gonna get, guys. Please tell me I can place things on the wall. Oh, great, I can't. Okay. Wow, thank you, Bloxburg. Making my life so much more difficult. This is a pretty simple solution. If I can't place things on the wall, all I do is just add a basic shape behind it. And the good thing is with this, we can then paint the walls a different color. Ha ha ha, life hacks. We could put a painting here and this could be custom wallpaper. Wait, I'm kind of a genius. If you guys could count how many times I say I'm a genius, Genius, and then something bad happens. So our two basic shapes here and considering this is going to be the kitchen, we will need all of our kitchen supplies. To be completely honest with you, I don't even think we can fit an oven in here. Oh my gosh, this is too hard. I can't go on. I'm like going to die. I mean, we can, but it will literally take up the entire space. <laughs> should we do it? Should we, add a, should we add an oven? You know what? A challenge is a challenge. I'm adding an oven. Technically, I can push this all the way back here and I can still use it. So ha ha ha, that is what we're going to do. How did people in like the medieval era cook things? Every time I eat something, I'm just like, how did the people in the medieval times eat this? You know, I think this kitchen is going to turn out really good. Don't get me wrong. When I'm doing these challenges, I struggle so much with the kitchen. I think the kitchen's actually turning out not too bad as of yet okay i don't want to jinx it i mean hey we can even fit a microwave up here that's about it <laughs> this kitchen is literally giving stone age right now and i don't know if i hate it or love it and before anyone asks alaska why don't you just add a junior chef play kitchen that's because i'm not lazy okay that would be boring and we're not boring i want a kitchen that you can actually use you know get your hands dirty we have this section over here so this is where we have the fridge we also need a sink however i don't know if we're gonna fit a sink oh i mean this sink kind of works and the thing is though we're gonna have to use the sink for the bathroom as well because we're not gonna be able to fit two sinks in here and we also need our coffee machine because every kitchen needs their coffee machine. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Do you want coffee? Oh, and some spices. I love me some spices. <laughs> 
I remember I was at my friend's once. This was when I was like 13, so it was a few years ago. And my friend's parents grew these really hot spices in their backyard. And he was like, okay, first one to make a face when eating these peppers loses. And keep in mind, we didn't know this, but these were one of the hottest peppers in the world. And at first it didn't hit me. I was fine. I'm like, I can't really feel anything. And he's like, how do you not feel that? And I'm like, mm, I don't know, because I'm built different. And then it hits me and oh my God. Gosh, was it hot. Like, I literally start crying. I grab milk. I'm like toast intolerant, but I start gulping that milk like it's made out of the most luxurious water in all of the world. Oh my God. <laughs> But the good news is, I think the kitchen's done. We're just going to decorate the sink a little bit more. That's another thing we need in our kitchen. I feel like we need an island bench. And we've got a massive space out here. So what's stopping me from just adding an end table with some fancy throne chairs? I swear, one month ago, I was building a throne in Bloxburg. And I said how mad I would be if Bloxburg added thrones to the game. Are you serious right now, bro? I'm telling you, Bloxburg watches my videos. Bloxburg, if you're watching this right now, give the Bloxburg community hollow roofs, please. Okay, so here's our little dining table. Right, we're gonna have some candles and roses. Make us a romantic candlelit dinner. Now for the lights in this house, we're gonna use candles instead of regular lights because we are going with a whole castle theme. Now the next room we need is the bathroom, which I did not give myself much room here. Why did I decide to make the smaller section the bathroom? You know what, because I just, I love, I love struggling. One of you guys actually Actually did comment that um <laughs> I just typed up comment instead of toilet because I was talking about comments oh my gosh do you guys ever do that one of you guys did comment that you guys want me to do this challenge because you love to see me suffer and yeah I'm looking at you little miss pinky 86 I see you my only problem with this challenge is I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fit a shower in a bathtub yeah we can add a shower at the back I love how the shower is just chilling there like the only thing is though I feel like you'd be very cold in this house because I mean it is very open I mean that's what we get for living in a castle. We've got the toilet, we've got the shower, we do not have room to add a bathtub though, which means the next thing we can work on is the bedroom. However, we do have a bunch of shelves here. I do want to fill these in. I feel like Beauty and the Beast to add in all her books. What's some random like decor we can place in these shelves? Oh, incense sticks? Yes, please. I always put these on when the cats poo. No one needed to know that. Oh, and we didn't have room to add a mirror in the bathroom, so we can add a mirror here. Oh, you know what I just realized? These curved curtains would look so good right here. Here. Bloxburg, please let me resize walls. Please. That is just, that's made me sad. <laughs> Okay, so now that this section is all filled up, we still need the bedroom and the lounge room. Like, this is a tiny little section. How am I going to make this the bed? Well, technically, we've got a bed here already, so bedroom's kind of ticked off, but we do need the living room. Right, what's in the new category? Oh, wait, this is kind of cute. We can have matching royal kid nightstands. What really makes a living room? Like, technically, we need a TV, maybe a lounge as well. However, I don't really know where to add the lounge. Okay, you know what? I think I changed my course of action. Yes, I'm halfway for the video am i changing my whole entire thing yes we're gonna have the dining room over here in this section so then six shape up here again resize it so it's in length of the castle and then ladies and gentlemen we're gonna get this fancy frame tv and place it right here i am actually a certified genius then down here we have more room for the living room i think i'm just gonna do my custom made mini lounge which is two ottoman basic shape at the back two at the side and then all we have to do is decorate the lounge see and then we got a custom made lounge this, see, this living room is actually turning out really nice. I don't think we need a coffee table in the living room. So now we can move on to the bedroom, which luckily for us, we have lots of room up here. Oh, the weather outside is like so nice, by the way. Oh my gosh, all I want to do is just cuddle up into my bed and watch a movie. I'm also adding carpet up here to make the bed more cozy. And if we turn this to nighttime, it gets pretty spooky. So we need to put a light. And one more thing we need in our bedroom is, well, some clothes. So you know what? This calls for a matching kids wardrobe. Right, and you know what? I don't know what I was thinking with this thing back here. I'm getting rid of it. It looks dumb. I'm just going to extend this wall a little bit. So then this way we have some privacy up here. Because now that I think of it, we don't really have much privacy if we're getting dressed or anything. And if it rains, then bye bye castle. That's all I'm going to say. It's raining. Whoa. It's pouring. Now the most difficult thing, which is adding the roof. How am I going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sick of this challenge. I just want to make nachos. That was so random. I swear, when I'm filming, I say the most random stuff. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. And you know what we also need on this bed? 
pillows. Hello. Like, girl, I cannot build a bed without adding a ton of pillows. You know me. And boom, our bed is done, which means the entire castle house is complete. So the castle house comes to a total of $80,000. And this is how the outside of it turned out. There's a few things in this house that are very questionable. For example, the roof. We, we didn't look at the roof, okay? I couldn't add a roof here, but this is technically like the living room. And you know what I love about this living room? The fact that we have a humongous TV up here. Like, I think this was like my smartest idea. The only issue is you've got to like break your neck to actually look up to the TV. <laughs> and over here we have my dining table. It's very lonely here. There's, there's no family. <laughs> this is my bed. Um, he's always here. There's no family. Shelving units in the bed actually came in handy. I could place things such as books, a little mirror here. Some Whoa, what just happened? Oh my god, I forgot that's a slide. Anyway, underneath here we have the kitchen. Okay, this kitchen actually turned out really good. I did not have high hopes for this kitchen, but I don't think it would work if you were a fully grown adult. But because I'm dressed as a toddler, the kitchen's actually the perfect size. We've got the oven, the microwave, we've got our sink, our fridge. I think we've got everything we need. Now this is where the house gets a little bit funky. To get to the bathroom, we've got a very, very tight squeeze. So tight that you actually cannot walk through. You gotta jump back here and then you can use your shower. Does it work? Not really. And then over here in this tiny little compartment, we have the toilet. Hey, at least if you're stinking up the house, we don't have any windows. So the stink just goes straight out to the outside. Coming upstairs, this is where we have my bedroom. Closet here where we can dress into a fancy child. So that's much better. So yeah, this is my bed. And then we've got our little bedside table with my massive diary where I can journal my thoughts. What I love about this house is if we're standing right here, tell me I don't look like queen of the world right now. Like watch out King Charles. I, Alaska Violet, am coming for your throne. So yeah, that was me turning the new kid's bed into a house in Blocksburg. I don't know if it's very functional, but I mean, you know what? It would be fun for a roleplay. If you guys want to see me turn another thing into a house, definitely comment it below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!